Over the course of the next few weeks, we're going to look at the seven deadly sins. The good news is that we're also going to look at the seven lively virtues that match those seven sins. So in this week, when we look at the sin of pride, we will also look at the virtue of humility. And we see both in the story of Adam and Eve. In this creation tale of how we came to be, how we are, we see that we are people who will make a choice to disobey in our pride, thinking we know better than our creator. Yet, we can find the humility to lift us up, to make us whole again, because it's right there in the story, even when we don't see it. It's there in the word humility, because humility comes from humus, soil, dirt, clay, that thing that God makes us out of. Now, it's interesting that the Hebrew tale for creation was not told in a vacuum. As a matter of fact, there was a tale from the Babylonians called the Enuma Elish, which also told of humans being made of clay. But interestingly, life was given to them not through breath, but through blood. And the blood specifically was the blood of an evil goddess who was creating the chaos and had to be slain for order to come. But think about where order comes out of chaos in our story. It comes from the breath, from the spirit of God. Hovering over the chaos, order comes forth. And in the clay itself, when God creates us, God breathes life into us. God's very spirit lives within us. So to be humble is not to be some Casper milk toast who is meek and stumbling. No, to be humble is to be filled with the very breath of God, to agree that we will bow to nothing other than that which comes from above, our God, who comes from above and yet comes to us, creating order out of chaos, and showing us great love and compassion by breathing life into us.